In this demonstration, we are going to be creating a single web page that has a parallax scroll effect. And uh, in addition to that, we're also going to be creating a JavaScript mobile navigation that drops down from the top. And we're also going to be creating a jQuery or JavaScript uh, gallery as well. OK, so first of all, why the resume? Um, it makes sense to use a single page for a resume in normal life. Uh, you know, normally in print, you would have maybe two pages at the most. Uh, but for the web, having a single page is kind of useful so that you're not having to click around to find stuff on different pages. Um, and like any website, a single page web resume's most important feature should be the content first. So be careful to avoid too much flashiness that co complicates a user's ability to read through the critical information that he or she's going to care about. Considerations. Okay, only include the essentials. Make it reflect your design style and your personal style. Design it to reflect your personality while maintaining professionalism. And avoid too many complex animations that impede readability, that create motion confu confusion, or that increase page load time. OK, um, there's some advantages to creating a web version of a resume. So unlike a paper resume, you're not limited to a letter sized document frame. And you can include a few extra important things that would be separate in a printed resume because you know, you're not supposed to send too many pages. Well, normal print resume stuff could include like work experience, education skills, awards and honors, contact information, right? Well, web resumes can add some other stuff like a live portfolio, personal profile, social media, where it's appropriate. OK, so we're going to look at the HTML structure. But very quickly, I'm going to jump over and show you an example of what it is that we're going to be doing. OK, so um, I want to show you this sort of small view because we are going to be taking a mobile first approach, which we'll discuss in a little bit. Um, because it's single page, it really does make sense to have a mobile first approach because we're not going to have to worry too much about too many other layout options. And it's you know, just nice to be able to be efficient this way. So one of the things that you'll notice is that this takes up the full size. No matter how big I make the page, you can see that my background image is scaling. You can see that my title is staying centered vertically and uh, horizontally. So that's kind of nice. And then this is one of the JavaScript things that we're going to be creating is this little menu so that it, this list is not um, visible where it takes up a lot of real estate in a small view. But also, you'll notice as I scroll that I can get to some of the stuff that's in the page. The other option that I have, too, is that I can choose my menu. I can click it. and that's what I was referring to as parallax scrolling, where it'll scroll up and down visibly on the page. And the thing that's nice about that is that users won't be confused thinking that they're going to a different page. OK, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So these are the things that we're going to discuss making. Um, and then also, if you look down to like the portfolio section, we're going to be making a dynamic light box gallery. So if you click, you know, you can scroll through the gallery and so forth. And if we make this a little bit bigger, and by the way, these are placeholders. If you make these a little bit bigger, you see that that image gallery will scale for you. OK. And um, these are just placeholders, uh, just so that there's something, you know, that can that can be there. OK. Um, yeah, and then there's a contact section at the bottom where we have some SVG graphics down here for uh, our icons and so forth. OK, so that's what we're going to be making. And you'll be able to customize this however you want, but I'll show you how to get at least to this point.